Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to save time and money when rerunning a foil stamping or embossing die. Using this simple procedure, press operators will be able to secure the die to the chase quickly and accurately for all future orders. Using this procedure, you'll need the following items. Two alignment pins, a transfer punch fixture, a one quarter inch transfer punch, a small hammer, a drill press, a number 11 drill, an 82 degree countersink tool, and a small flat metal file. After the die has been positioned and secured to the chase using bunter or better posts, and the first production order has been successfully run on the press, the operator should follow these steps. Remove the chase from the press, line the chase down with the die facing up. Allow the chase to cool to eliminate any chance of injury. Thread a minimum of two alignment pins into the chase spacing the pins well apart. Position the transfer punch fixture over the die on the alignment pins. Looking through the holes in the transfer punch fixture, find at least two non-image area positions on the die that align to the holes in the fixture. Place the one quarter inch transfer punch in each selected hole and firmly tap the transfer punch with a hammer to create a detent in the non-image area of the die. Remove the fixture and inspect the detents to ensure they are sufficiently deep to align the number 11 drill. If there's a question about the detent quality, Remount the fixture and repunch. If the detents are good, the die can be removed from the chase. Using a drill press and a number 11 drill, holes are carefully drilled through the die using the detents to align the drill bit. After the holes have been drilled, each hole is countersunk for a 1032 flathead screw. The final operation is to use a small flat file to clear away any metal from around the hole on the back side of the die. With the die drilled and countersunk as described, operators can remount the die back to the original position on the chase with two flathead 1032 screws. Operators may choose to record the die orientation and the specific vertical and horizontal hole positions used on the chase to further simplify setup when rerunning the prepared die. This procedure has been saving Thermotype customers time and money for years.